I'm Steve for This Up With Cars, and today I'm back with my 2023 Land Rover Defender. I have a big overlanding trip coming up, and I will be taking the Defender. So in order to prepare for the trip, I need to make a couple modifications. The first of which I will be doing today, which is installing a solar panel on the bonnet. This kit is from Cascadia 4x4, which consists of a solar panel, which is custom cut to each of the bonnets of the four-wheel drive that you own. It comes with some cleaning pads, a tool to help you smooth out your vinyl, some wire ties, the solar charge controller, and in this tube, a black piece of vinyl to put down on your bonnet before you put on the solar panel. My Defender came from the factory with a piece of vinyl. So I am going to use the factory piece. The purpose of this piece of vinyl is to not scratch the paint on your bonnet and to keep the solar panel from burning or blistering your paint because it could get very hot in the summer. There will be a slight air gap between the panel and the bonnet, which will help it insulate the bonnet from the solar panel. Until this solar panel gets onto the vehicle, it is very fragile. You don't want to bend it at all. So you need to keep it flat when you're moving it around. On the back side, you can see there's double-sided 3M adhesive tape around the perimeter of the solar panel. And then there's also this X in the middle that helps it hold it off the bonnet just slightly so that you have this air gap between this level and the thickness of the tape. And that will help insulate from the solar panel to the bonnet a little bit. This double-sided tape is one single piece, and so only one area along it is it split need to peel back the backing just a little bit so that I can grab it once this is flipped over on the bonnet. And then when I pull it off, it will pull the entire length out in one piece. So now it's a matter of just picking this up and getting it centered on the vehicle. I have it just setting on the bonnet now. Looks like it's centered pretty well. There is a gap between it and the bonnet right now, so I can easily go around and rub on some of the adhesion promoter. I'll let that sit for five minutes and then I can start peeling the tape off and stick it down. They say in the instructions that you should be sticking this down directly to the paint. But since this was a factory applied piece of vinyl, I think doing it this way should be fine. Okay, I think that looks good. Well, I feel like this is a design flaw using stickers like this. These stickers should be easy to remove and not come off in pieces like this. I don't know if you can tell, this is not a flat surface. Feels good and solid, now to wire it up. Even though the battery for this vehicle is located under the passenger seat, Land Rover makes the install of this solar panel very easy. Here are the wires coming down from the solar panel right there. And I will have to install my charge controller in here somewhere, but to hook it up to battery power, all of the terminals are right here, are positive and negative. So all we need to do is go over from there, connect up to our solar charge controller, and end up right here. I've decided to mount my charge controller on the cover for the fuse box. I stuck it on there and then removed the fuse box cover several times and double checked that that would work fine. And then I ran the battery connections, the negative to this bolt right here, and the positive is run into here. It is this wire right here. So I do have the battery hooked up to the solar charge controller now. So now let's connect the solar panels and see if anything happens. I do have the lights off right now so we can see the LEDs right now. There's a green light on and a flashing yellow light. I do not have the solar panel plugged in yet. So let's plug that in and see if it changes.
Looks like we still have just the green light and the flashing yellow light. Looks like the yellow light blinking means that my battery is low. And if the solar panel were charging, the green light would be blinking. I'm not surprised it's not charging right now because we are inside. Let me open the overhead door and see if that's enough light to change this. Now with the overhead door open, you can see the green light is blinking, which means the solar panel is charging. When the battery is fully topped off, both the green light and the orange light will be solid. Now on the charge controller, we still have two wires hanging out here, and these are the accessory wires. If I wire something to these two wires, it will get powered off of the solar panel, and if the solar panel cannot supply enough power, it will start to use battery power. What I've decided to use for the accessory port is to mount one of these down inside this little hole. So this connector will be sitting down inside there like that. It will be nice and secret and hidden. And when I want to connect things, I can run a wire, connect it up there, have something sitting on my bonnet here, whether that's a phone connected through USB or a device connected to a cigarette outlet adapter a voltmeter, whatever I want to have, I can have connected through there and running off of just the solar panel if there's enough light from the sun. So I just need to drill a hole right there, large enough for this connector to pass through. I am cutting the connector off the other end of this, so I don't need to worry about that one passing through, but it will need to sit flush in that panel there. Okay, everything is hooked up now. I have the wiring from the accessory going over to my port, which is installed right here. Let's flip up the cover and I can plug accessories in. It has a nice waterproof cover for it. Here is a look with everything installed. Looks nice and tidy. Shut the bonnet. And you can't even see anything in there until you are looking really closely. Here are some of the things that can be plugged into that plug. This is a USB adapter. This one is a voltmeter. This one is a cigar outlet adapter. So pretty much anything made to plug into a car, I can now plug into there and let it sit on my bonnet and use it from out here. So I have the outside accessory plug done. Now for the inside accessory plug. There are a bunch of power ports in the Defender already, but all of those turn off when you turn the key off. So for running a fridge or charging my cameras, things like that, I want a power port inside that is charged all the time. The battery on these vehicles is down here under the floor on the passenger side. So if I wire another one of these ports straight up to the battery, it will have power all the time. And I was thinking I can put that right here in the top of this panel and then the wires could be extended backwards to go to a fridge or something like that. Or you could even take it forward underneath the seat. So I'm just going to drill a hole in this panel and mount another one of those connectors. On this panel exactly on the side where I want to put it, there is this flat spot right here. So I'm going to put my hole directly in the center of that, have it come out right there. And that's where I will be mounting the accessory port. There it is. There's my new port. It's all wired up. It's connected by a quick disconnect so that I can take the panel completely out of here. This is what it looks like going back on. I think that might have been clearance before for the negative terminal on the battery, but there's plenty of room actually between this connector and the negative terminal. It's actually over about right here. And this does snap down properly. Now I have a full-time power accessory port right here that can be extended out to the back or moved up to the front. And that's going to be it for today. I should have no problems powering my devices. This solar panel is only 85 watts, but my fridge only takes 45 watts. So even if I don't have direct sunlight, I should have enough power to power the fridge during the day. Next time I have some more overlanding equipment to bolt to the outside of this vehicle. So if you want to see videos like that, comment below and click subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.